What's up, adventure agents? Agent Tex here. Agent Hummingbird. Agent yeah, Hummingbird here. Agent Axe. Hey, Jack. We're in a tree. A really unique tree. It's a western red cedar, and we're going to build a bushcraft tree fort to camp in, to sleep in tonight. So, we'll see how that goes. We're going to have to make it to where we don't roll off and fall on the ground at night, right? Never done anything like this, so... We'll see what happens. Daddy. We're just going to use cordage and some hand tools. One hand. Oh, brave girl. One brave hand. Girl. <laughs> One We're also going to fish a little bit. Yeah. No We're going to have a blast. We'll no see. Hands. No hands. No hands. No hands. Let's get down. Can you help me get down? And get to work. Yeah, I'll help you get down. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to lower you to the ground, all right? Ready? All right. And it. Doo, 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 doo. Ready? Yo. You're on my tree. I'm trying to cut it. You're on my tree. Good job. Smell good? It smell like anything. Mm -hmm. This is the dead red cedar bark. Uh huh. Comes like right off and it's pretty dry because it's like covered by a bunch of branches and stuff. So I was thinking we should use it for tinder. Yeah, like you could idea. with your knife shave it like that. Yeah. And that would catch a spark really easily. I think so. We'll give it a try. Are you getting fiddlehead for our mm -hmm. stir, fry. stir fry tonight? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I think she might have a mole, you guys. Dude. She might have it. You got it? Get it. Get it. Where's it going? What do you think? Do you think she'll get it? Yeah. Let's place bets, okay? I wager. Ten dollars. I, I wager my marshmallow tonight that she will get it. This is the mole trail all I the way wager. over here, hey, all the way over here. You're digging the wrong way. Digging the wrong way. <laughs> no, the mole tunnel probably goes all over the place. Take this string mm -hmm. and walk down to the other end of that tree, please. Okay, that's good right there. Thank you. She's she's clearing her nose of dirt. She's going <laughs> and blowing the nose out of her dirt. The dirt out of her nose. <laughs> Get that nose. <laughs> it's the great mole hunt. <sighs> Are you still? Tracking this mole? So they got this mole tracked. They haven't found another hole. Hold me around it down there. Talk Peter. about dedication. You wanna have mole stir fry? Yeah, if we catch one. You'd eat mole stir fry? If we caught one? Yeah. You got the mole? Yes. 
You're kidding. No. Be careful. I got it. <laughs> Prankster. Help us search. He, you really had me go in there for a second. Really? <laughs> yeah. Help me search. Nope. Stick your arm up. You know, hole. I'm not gonna go chasing moles right now. <laughs> Just for a little bit. I already did. I chased no, moles as far as I. Like, I know it was fun. No, it was fun for like, like stick your arm way out ten feet, and then I realized that this mole could be anywhere in this entire ground. It is the underground world. It is the mole's terrain. We're in their oh, world okay, now. We found it. Steve, if you catch it, I'll give you both an extra one. I climbed on the tree. I'm going to try to climb on the arm. Hi. So when you're climbing a tree, tuck your badge inside your shirt. You know why? Why? Because if you fall, and the badge get hooked on something, it can choke you. Mm -hmm. You you might fall and you'll dangle and you'll choke with the badge. So always, if you're climbing up something, stick your badge inside your shirt, okay? But what if you're climbing up a honey jar? <laughs> a honey jar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a huge, giant honey jar. <laughs> Oh. oh, there he goes. There it is. I got it. I got it. Oh, there's two. There's a big one. Got one of them. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, we can eat this one. So we went down here. River said she wanted to go fishing a little bit in our creek here. And uh, we caught something with some meat, huh? Go right yeah. back and show him how he's need it. Kind of bony but it's got some meat on those legs. Frog legs. These are huge. Yeah, that's pretty big. Now this could be fish bait, actually. If we had a hook and line. We could use this for fish bait. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, you know what? Or Agent Tracker might eat it. Over your head. Hey. Oh, that was the perfect cast. So to keep these frog legs fresh, I'm gonna kinda kinda crush it right there with that rock. And it'll hold it in place in this cool water. We'll keep it cool and keep it fresh. It's like refrigeration right there. So I have a nice beam coming out here. That's this arm of the tree. I need another beam to come out here. That beam isn't enough. I could run something from there to there, but that's not enough space for us to sleep. So I'm gonna run a beam through that Y tree right there, and I'm gonna tie some blocks between these two branches right here, and I'm gonna do what is called the cantilever method. And what that means is that one end of the beam is gonna be just suspended up in the air, and it's going to be held up by the lever in the Y part of the smaller tree in the back. Okay, all right, go ahead and hand them up. There is a cedar branch right here that runs from this little tree all the way to the V right there. And it is a good sturdy branch. In fact, I think it's alive out there. And I find things like this to be really interesting. Um, I'm grateful for that. I see intention and I don't see coincidence. I'll call it coincidence sometimes, but I see intention there. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my existence. My existence, uh, well, it includes suffering. It includes pain, heartache, betrayal. Betrayal of my own self sometimes. You can be your own worst enemy. And little things like this, I see intention there. It's not the greatest of intention. I appreciate and I'm grateful for the intention of Agent Trinity to love me far more than I am the intention that I see in this perfect step here. 
for me to do that with, uh, to stand on while I'm working with that. It would be very difficult to do it without that, and I'm grateful for that. Got our beam here, but if I were to put a beam across from there to there, that whole thing would fall down. So that's where the cantilever comes in, and I'm I am going to have to put a, another brace right across there, and that will keep that end from coming up. And then I can put as much weight as I need to on that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, moment of truth. Uh, slid a little bit. Had a little bit of give there. Daddy. But it's working. Agent Axe has been hard at work. He got a bunch of firewood here. And now, sure. now it's not so crowded over there. Oh, and that. There you go. Good one. Reel it in quick. So I just tried one cast and I caught one <laughs> and it jumped out of the water and flopped off the hook. So we definitely have trout in our pond here. You wanna keep it I've seen some big ones. I've seen some like 10 inch trout in here, maybe a foot long. You gotta, you gotta hurry and reel in fast. Oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, reel it in. You got it. Oh, wow. Okay, it's a little one. Yeah, yeah, we gotta be careful, okay? Okay. I'm gonna hold it. We want to be that very gentle. So... Can I hold it? It's a rainbow trout. It is a rainbow trout. You're right. All right, throw it back in, okay? Let it grow bigger. Grow bigger, little rainbow. You see it go off? <laughs> oh, what a perfect cast. Real fast, fast. There you go. Perfect. Oh, you got a big one. Woo! Agent Hummingbird. Reel it in, reel it in. She's got a big one, you guys. Oh, Nothing look at that. Oh, wow. Agent oh. Hummingbird. Oh. I'm so proud of and you. The fish slap. The fish slap. <laughs> the fish slapped Axel. Look what you got. Okay, let's hurry and get it's it off. It's a rainbow one. It is a rainbow and it's not big enough. We got to be careful. Yeah, it's, see, it's just too small. Like yep. not even one inch. All right, you want to let it go? Yeah, it's, All right, be it's very almost gentle. big enough. Okay, toss it back in. Wait. There you go, Rainbow. Yeah, if that thing fattens up all summer, maybe That's we'll catch it later. Catch you later, Trout. Give me five. I am so proud of you. <laughs> Axel, so proud of you. We you two, we got two frog feet. legs, trout. If we really needed to survive here, I think we could. So, I know it may get old for some of you, but watching this girl start a fire never gets old for me. It's awesome. So we have fat wood here, and I'm using the 90 degree side of my knife, the sharpened edge there. We do a custom grind on our Adventure Agent's knife here on the back to where it's sharper than normal on the back edge. And then I use that to scrub this and to get these fluffies going on. And they catch a spark really well i'm gonna feather a stick now too so we don't have our adventure agents fire starter rod i left it up at the house i don't really want to go all the way back and get it but i actually left this down here a long time ago this gigantic thing <laughs> and so we're going to use this instead of the adventure agents fire starter it's also harder oh so close you got this girl you can do it i know you can don't burn yourself oh you got it yes gear give me five you did it. All right, light the, where's the feather stick? Jakes. Oh, here it is. Okay, light the feather stick. There you go. Oh, look at that. Hold this it. fat wood is amazing. So where'd you get that from? Um, everywhere. Okay, what's this? Um, dandelion from the garden. Nice. Dandelion greens. Awesome. And that right there is thyme, oregano, and rosemary. Nice work. Thanks. Can you 
you hold that in the stick, Agent Hummingbird? Pull it through. Keep going. Keep going. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, put it in that V. There you go. Oop. Down inside. There we go. Oh. oh, that is boiling good. But I was looking in the pond the other day and I saw some like beaver turds like all over there. <laughs> Needless to say, we're gonna let that water boil for a little bit longer. So these are rice noodles, just white rice. You prefer white rice over brown rice noodles. It says stir occasionally. Well, it's been an occasion, so we're stirring. So Agent X, what do you think of that? Is that cool? Hooray. Hooray. So we watched a show called TA Outdoors and uh, one of the guys that was cooking on there cooked with something like this and I was like, I gotta get that for Agent X. So so I got it. We I've had it for like three months, six six months I think actually. <laughs> we haven't used it yet, so brand new. Do we need to put oil on it? Uh, yes, in just a second. We're gonna I'm gonna let whatever they put on there to burn off first. Look who's here. Hi. None other than Agent Trinity. I could not find the fishing poles. Oh no. On the phone you, you cut out, so all I heard oh, was okay. like, it's by the building, and I went in the building, and I'm like. Oh, it's on the porch. I looked around the porch, but. Did you bring Agent Rainbow with you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnancy yes, Agent Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> I was oh, just kidding. I was making good. a joke. Okay. I definitely did not forget Agent Rainbow. So where we're building a tree fort is pretty deep in the woods over there. So we decided we wanted to have Agent Trinity and Agent Rainbow for dinner, so... They invited us. We met you halfway, so you don't also, have to walk so all the way through the woods into there. Okay. <laughs> I'm also starving, or the baby's yeah, starving me or something. Too. So. Isn't this, this thing good. cool? Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm cooking our stir fry. stir fry. So in this we have, what do we have here? Fiddlehead, dandelions, four or five leaves of dock. Okay. And, bell uh, pepper, cabbage, and onion. And onion. I think we got way too much stir fry here, so we're gonna have to cook that twice. All right, I'm gonna put some oil, and you start putting it on there. So there's this garter snake, a big garter snake, and it's got a frog the same size as a frog that we caught. And it's dragging it up in here. See? The garter snake has the frog right there. We thought it was some kind of like mammal. Oh, that looks good. Oh no! Ah. I left steak, ribeye steak. Tracker, what are you doing, huh? Oh, I hope you haven't been licking your butt. There we go, pots and pans clean. <laughs> Trendy chair is a good name mm -hmm. for a girl. I got something! That's mine? These rice noodles are really good. Hi, Agent X. Come on. Pause your fishing. Come and eat. 
So I've got this Hello. primal kitchen, no soy, teriyaki, yeah. organic sauce and marinade. Is All right, everyone, it? so who's thankful? Me. Me, I'm thankful. I am thankful for this food. I'm thankful for this beautiful weather, this wonderful uh, uh, land that we live on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're thankful that we exist and we are thankful to the cause of our existence. Yeah. We are grateful for love and the love um, that we've been given. We're wanting to make our life's purpose to share the love we've been given as best we can with everyone around us. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Yeah. Is it Tracker? <laughs> She's, She's tired. You, you tired, huh? Past our bedtime. So All right, we're thankful for Agent Tracker too. Oh, you okay? She's eating it. What do you think, Agent X? Is that fiddlehead fern good? Mm-hmm. No, oh, keep looking at you. Do you like it, Agent Trinity? It's delicious. Ah, I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna try it out real quick though, just to just to so make you all jealous. The head is so good. <laughs> oh man. It's that fiddlehead really is fantastic. Yeah, we need more nettle. Big deal, fiddlehead. Yeah, no, we didn't do any nettle this time. We forgot, and we didn't have time. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. And we have frog oh, legs for dessert. This frog toy tastes really good. <laughs> is that a frog leg right here? <laughs> nope. Don't tell me. <laughs> no, <sighs> ah, still there. Okay, so I just had to walk really, really far to get this, but I was not about to miss an opportunity to have Agent Trinity try frog legs. <laughs> so let's go see if she likes it. All right, now oh, no. for dessert. Mm -mm. Are you sure? I'm full. I'm Come on. I'm super full. Okay. Good I've boy. never been this full. Agent Trinity. <laughs> when have you ever been one to turn down frog legs? <laughs> You want some? Mm -hmm. The this, what? This frog is not still alive. That frog is still alive. The frog is still alive? Come and look. It'll probably take a while. Snakes, they take time sometimes to get their food. Snakes that snake. Are evil. They're not the evil. Are very cool. No. Nothing is evil of itself, but to him who considers it to be evil, for that person, it is evil. It's all about perspective. Look. What? Look right there. See? It's like just barely oh alive. See? The snake. See the snake? Oh, the snake's actually eating it now. It is? Yeah. It's Just got it in its mouth. Ago, it wasn't. Yeah, it's swallowing that frog. Really? Uh, yeah. I hate to make it stop. See that? Look, it's in its mouth. Look. A worm! A worm just came out! It is swallowing it. Look at that. See? The frog is partially in its mouth. Um, I'm can gonna... you believe that snake can swallow that big frog? I'm That's incredible. That's how nature is. Nature is brutal. It is brutal, but not in an evil way. No, no, no. Nature is brutal in a, in a very fair way, I'd say. Um, meaning Daddy, it's equally frog? brutal. Can I cut the frog leg? What? Can I cut the frog leg? Yes, you can. Hold over the flame. Turn it this way just a little bit. Just Will like you that. risk your life for a beaver day? No. Okay, so nobody gets marshmallows unless they've tried frog leg first. Okay? Not even mommy. We are grateful for this frog's life. It hopped and hopped a lot to build these muscles, these legs. And it is some of the best nutrition probably that we could have. Help I'll bet that. you anything. Yeah, wild foods that. are fantastic. They have the kind of nutrition really that other eat. foods that you eat on a day-to-day -day basis just do not have. But don't ever eat anything in the wild unless you know it's good. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Because stuff can kill you. Like there's a little newt that lives in the water. I just saw I it right there. Look. As big as this frog. But if you it's ate it, it would kill you. So. Eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Did you eat it? Did you yeah, eat really it? Good. I missed it. Was it good? Mm -hmm. You liked it? The frog leg? Oh. <laughs> Can I have some? Okay. I keep your food All right, here in your we go. mouth, young lady. Right, here. There you go. That's not mine? Yeah, that's yours. Do you have any? I do, yeah. Does mommy? I have plenty. Okay. Mommy, she... We're not going to force mommy to eat it. I told you I'll taste it. I've you had, will? I've had frog legs Because you're cool. You got to taste the really good like, stuff. Have I tried this before? I don't know. Did you try it that one time we had it? I think so. Here, by the tree? The first time? It's it did good, like a yeah. mix of chicken and shrimp. 
Yeah. Yeah, shrimp, because shrimp is basically muscle. So. Yeah, chewy. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm. It is good. It's it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I could totally live on this for a long time. The problem is that... You want more? Mm -hmm. uh, there really, there really isn't much more left here. I want more too. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's getting close. Man. It's a big snake. It's definitely one of the biggest garter snakes I've ever seen. I did not know it could swallow a frog that big though. See these little knobs? Mm -hmm. the, the big, I need you to cut these off. There's a little saw over there by the base of the tree. Mm -hmm. A folding saw. Unfold it. When you bring this back, cut the little knobs off and then just stack it on the ground. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good. Are you Hi. ready for a tree fort? Yeah. Oh! Why not do that? So, pro tip, <laughs> if you're going to build a survival tree fort, <laughs> Be sure that you get enough paracord. <laughs> I ran out of paracord, so I'm using a couple nails here that we had left over. <laughs> I found them in the wild. I know how we're gonna get up here. Uh, so we have a bit of a gap. Yes, yeah, so we got a bit of a gap here, right where this branch is. Um, so either I cut this branch off, which this is actually not. A branch and this is what is so cool about these trees you all about this tree so check it out this is a tree that's the main tree right but it's actually got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven trees the branches of this tree turned into other trees it's incredible it's really something and I don't see this that often you don't really see it that often uh, but it is really really neat I, I nerd out about stuff like this way too much but isn't that cool look it because see the, the normal tr cedar trees they they have branches that just come out like this see just like that but this one it acts like it's a tree it has the branches that go straight out like that but it's not a tree it was another branch coming out and it did this you know, go straight out and all of a sudden it's like, I'm gonna turn into a tree. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I just find that incredible. I really do. Anyways, maybe. And there would only be 10 trees if we yeah. that one. It's pretty cool. I don't know why I think it's so cool, but I just do. How you doing, Dirty? Good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you Agent Dirty. <laughs> She's got moss all in her hair. Who cares? Oh, Daddy. Agent Cutie. We'll call you Agent Cutie. <laughs> no, Agent Hummy. Agent Hummy, yeah. <laughs> so try to hammer that in right there. There you go. Like that. Snack time. Peanut butter stick for you. Peanut butter for you. Yummy. Yummy. Mm. You deserve it. Hammer girl. Agent Hammer. I just want to know <laughs> how. I mean, why, but how? How did you... Why? No, why? I know how. Why? Agent X is a very cool and unique and special agent. Take this string. Thank you. Okay, hold on to both of them, okay? Don't let go. Fit. 
So as you can see, we put this uh, milled piece of lumber here, right here, that I milled with my axe. And uh, then you just do that. We got it supported by on these two sides with the cordage there. Works great. Honestly, you really don't need the nails. I didn't need the nails. I was just using them because I don't have enough cordage and I'm kind of concerned. I don't, we don't even need cordage up here actually for a lot of this stuff because the board just laying on top would be good enough. But with the kids coming up here, I don't want them accidentally shifting the logs off and then falling. So I'm just trying to be extra careful. But you can just do this with just a little bit of cordage. I didn't have to use all that much. Just lay them on. Alright, Axel, I need you to auger a hole right there. Percy Jackson, The Heroes of Olympus, Series 2, Book 2. Hey, mm -hmm. all this fiddlehead fern you got? Mm -hmm. Agent Trinity needs it. Because mm -hmm. she's making food. Lunch. Mm -hmm. Go back and get it. Mm -hmm. You can bring this to her. Agent Hummingbird. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Ow. She was using the hammer. She smashed her finger. That hurt. Mm -hmm. You want to go home? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to finish the handrail up here. Three, four. And I'll see you home in a little bit. We'll have some stir fry. Was left over. All right, so as a lot of you might have guessed, it is not the same day we had to hold off until the next day. So it's the next day from when we ate the stir fry. And we are going to camp in this tonight, though. We didn't have time to finish it, but we're going to finish it tonight. We're going to camp in it tonight. So let's get back to work and finish the handrail. All right, well, I'm glad that I used a few nails because. I'm completely out of this uh, cordage and I could have used a little bit more, but I made do with what I had. I really love this right here. This is great. It's vine maple, which is a really tough wood and it's got these forks everywhere, right? And so I just laid the handrails in and wrapped them around with cordage around that tree there and there. And I used the auger to bore in right there to brace it and then right there, and I put one nail right there to keep this from coming out, and one nail right there to keep that from coming out. And that is pretty darn sturdy. So I think this is gonna be great. I'm gonna leave that open because this is actually a great place for Agent Hummingbird. She actually gets up by going around there. And Agent Axe kind of comes up here. Look at that. That is so cool. It looks like elephant tusks and it's perfect little ladder for kids to climb up and for me too again intentionality it's just it's so perfect this is a perfect tree really really interesting i'm very grateful for this tree so we got handrail there safe enough to sleep on i think we're good to go the only next best thing would be to get some kind of tarp up here for um rain i don't think we're going to do that because it's not going to rain for the next few days so I think we're just gonna sleep under the stars. I don't know if we can see any stars through all that though. Get up there. <laughs> yeah. You hear the coyotes? Mm -hmm. Agent Tracker hears them. Yeah, she was looking right at them. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I'm not 
that big of a guy. All right, so it's supposed to rain a little bit tonight. So I didn't want to, but I guess I'm gonna have to put a tarp over us. And I was like, oh, I don't have any paracord, but then it hit me. We have so much paracord left over from the DB Cooper parachute and the teepee that, uh, that Luke from the Outdoor Boys built. So we have lots and lots of paracord. So I'm gonna use this to string the tarp up. Okay, so we got a tarp now. Simple lean-to deal. Open on all these ends, but if there's a light rain tonight, I think we'll be fine. So we have our Adventure Agent's lantern right here set up. That lantern will be back in stock at theadventureagents.com hopefully within the next couple weeks. And it is great for camping. It is a must for us for camping. Uh, this is Agent Tracker's sleeping bag. He's probably like, I am not coming up in that tree. Okay. Barely. All right. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Okay, come on, Agent Jack. There you go. Oh. <laughs> She's got some paracord. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, on. look at that. Look at you. Yeah. You're up in a I tree, huh? I bet she huh? likes it. <gasps> I bet oh. she likes it, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love right, it. Yeah, so look at your hook. <gasps> He's a good doggy, huh? He's a good doggy. Oh. Dude, this feels pretty cool up here, right? Mm hmm I also feel like I'm about to fall off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> well, you know what? You're going to sleep over here. On this a side, deep, a deep dark and abyss. You've got you would you would have to really try to fall through there. <laughs> I I made this natural brace right here. See this branch? It's just you know it's it's a limb, but it's got a, a deal right here, and it's a natural handrail. So really strong. This is green wood fell down in the ice storm. In fact, all of this alder fell down in the ice storm. I think I've already mentioned that. Yeah. What is this? thing you put on here. I was thinking it might help to get her up here as like a oh, lift. A, a harness to pick her up. <laughs> we would hoist her up. No, you want to be hoisted up. Oh. <laughs> she, she's, like, oh. she's like, what are you trying to do? There we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, get cozy. So it's oh, way yeah, past yeah, Agent yeah, Tracker's yeah. bedtime. She goes to bed way before we do because she exercises, I think, quite a bit more. She's constantly Wait, out of the woods ever, sniffing Daddy, things, chasing rabbits. Daddy, and, have you ever seen one of those she's movies? She's tired. Oh, oh. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> I like this game of catching. Can I catch something else? We I even caught the thing. rarest of the things. I'm, I'm like so happy that we made this, Axel. I dropped my walkie-talkie down here. And I have the new Adventure Agents flashlight here. So it's a mini tactical Adventure Agents flashlight. The light is so bright it's hard to see. But this light is so cool. So it focuses the beam just by sliding this back and forth. And it has a little button on the back and it's rechargeable. And it has a lantern side to it too. So you can set it down and it actually shines a lot of light like a lantern. So this is an awesome mini flashlight. Never thought I'd be a flashlight salesman. <laughs> but all the products that we have on our website are products that we use all the time. They're a must for us when it comes to camping and being out in the woods and stuff and so um, and adventuring. You buying these products supports us and our family and our purpose here and our cause, our mission to inspire families to get out and adventure. And I found that families, they share like, oh, they're so excited. They got their new adventure gear. Now they want to go out on an adventure. And that is the key. That's what makes me excited about selling flashlights because what it, what it does is once you have it in your hand, you're like, now I got a tool, I need to get out and use it and go adventure. And that's good for you. But don't buy these things if you don't need them. <laughs> you already got adventure gear, hey, good stuff, use it. I'm using this flashlight right now to find the walkie-talkie. And there it is right there. You can see yellow. I'm gonna grab it. <sighs> this light is so powerful. And that focus beam can shine really far away for such a tiny flashlight. So it's a mini tactical flashlight. It's amazing. Love it. So we have sketchy service where we are on the property, but this walkie-talkie will reach to Agent Trinity. So that's why I got it. If she needs anything, mm -hmm. she can call me on this thing and it makes a really loud noise. So I'm going to check in on her and Agent Hummingbird and Agent Rainbow. Agent Trinity, can you hear me over? All right, well, she'll check in before she goes to sleep. So we're playing Game Boy now, and I'm about to battle Camper Roland. <laughs> K 
campers just like us. I don't want to fight you, Roland. This is Slowpoke Well. <laughs> also known as the Rainmaker Well. Agent Hummingbird, are you there? Over. Yes. Are you going to sleep? Yes. Good night, Agent Trinity. I love you. So, we have a brand new product on theadventureagents.com. It is our battery bank for recharging all of your camping necessities, like our Adventure Agents lantern here and flashlights. Our flashlights are rechargeable. The new flashlight I just showed you last night. My phone, it also has a flashlight right here. Pretty bright. Attached to the battery bank, so doubles as that. Again, this is a must. All of our stuff is rechargeable, and so when you're camping, you need something to recharge it with, especially if you're primitive camping, and uh, this is a must for us. Theadventureagents.com slash shop. I'm so cozy up here. It's so cool sleeping in a treehouse. How you doing, Agent Tracker? Huh? How you doing? You doing okay, huh? There you go. There you go. We're playing a little morning Game Boy. Agent Trinity just checked in on me. Yeah, we're awake. How you doing, Agent Trinity? Oh, we're good. About to make breakfast. Nausea. Pregnancy. Etc. Well, you're amazing. You're so cool. And super strong. And incredible because you can make human beings inside your body. It's awesome. Come on. Come on. You don't want to come down this way? Oh. All right. Come here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she wants to stay up there. Yeah. So we got our handy dandy bag of fatwood made by Agent Axe, harvested from our property here. I'm gonna use this to start the fire. It's available when in stock at theadventureagents.com slash shop. Agent Axe's entrepreneurial venture. Starting this fire with the Adventure Agents survival knife and the fire starter that comes with it. Just shave off some of the fatwood with the 90 degree grind that comes on the back and here we go. Some of you may get tired of us advertising this stuff, but we gotta pay the bills somehow. <laughs> I can't get Tracker down, so we're gonna have to do something special. Tracker will not come off of this treehouse, so we're gonna have to put her inside a sleeping bag and lower her down. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. There you go. Hey, that wasn't so bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, yeah. I just don't want to see me going down off the treehouse. <laughs> oh, she's like, Daddy, Daddy, I was so scared. It's okay. Yeah, gotta make sure that beaver poop water boils good. Uh, it's brown sugar maple. I 
I stole some of your fatwood for advertising purposes. Don't worry, it'll turn into more sales. <laughs> So, Agent Axe, what? you know that snake that was eating that frog, mm -hmm. was that uh, a little bit sad to you, hearing that frog making that noise? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. It was definitely sad for me. Uh, not really sad, like, like whenever you lose a loved one or something like that, or you hear someone who's really suffering, maybe someone you don't know or someone you know closely that's um, uh, dear to you, that's suffering. But it almost does resemble a cry for help. And so that definitely got to me a bit. And it got me thinking about something. See, earlier we caught a frog to eat. And we killed it. And we ate it. And then we came across a snake catching a frog to eat. So thinking about those two things together, right? Us catching the frog and eating it, and then the snake catching the frog and eating it, and thinking about the differences there. One distinct difference that I found when thinking about it is, first of all, <laughs> uh, to, just to mention, you know, it was only probably 30 minutes earlier that that frog was actively hunting and catching something else that didn't want to be eaten, you know? And so that's why I was talking about with nature, it's almost fair. It's almost like nature is impartial in a way. The frog caught and ate some sort of insect or maybe even, I don't know, maybe a baby snake <laughs> earlier. I'm not sure exactly if frogs will eat baby snakes, but I know they'll eat just about anything, I think, that they can catch and eat. And so the frog caught and ate something 30 minutes earlier that didn't want to be eaten, and the snake caught the frog which didn't want to be eaten, obviously. <laughs> but <clears throat> do you think that the snake, while catching that frog, was actively thinking about how I can catch and eat this frog while causing the frog as little pain as possible? Mm -mm. You don't think so? Do you think that when Daddy caught the frog, that I was actively thinking about how I could kill the frog as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Mm -hmm. That to me is the most distinct difference. When it comes to humans, we can actively and distinctly try to imagine what it's like to be that creature and treat it as if we would want to be treated. We have to eat. And sometimes that means meat, like frogs. But if I was that frog and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have to go. They're gonna eat me. How could they eat me in a way that is as painless as possible? Well, being slowly devoured by a snake over an hour period of time. That frog was still kicking while it was halfway into the snake. Or what I did, which was thinking of the frog, okay, how do I kill it as quickly as possible, as painlessly as possible, just cut off its head. That's what I did. I, as a human, <clears throat> have a very different mindset or have the possibility have the option, have the potential to have a very different mindset. Now, some people, some people might actually take a different approach, and that's where it gets hairy with humans. They might actively think about how they can torture that frog. And that is where humans can be loving and hateful. The snake did not hate that frog. The snake just needed to eat. That's it. We can be very hateful as humans to creatures, to other people, but we can also be very loving and caring. We can actively try to destroy the planet, but uniquely, unlike any other creature, we can actively and intentionally try to save the planet. So I do take issue with a lot of people who think humans are inherently bad and if they were just wiped off the face of the earth that that would be better for the planet. I believe in humanity and I think we can choose the good. And I believe that we are. At least I am trying. And that's what Life's an Adventure, Love is a Key is a lot about. All right, well, tree fort success. Mm -hmm. You gonna sleep up there again? Mm -hmm. I think we should. I think we should continue to build it up. No, not tonight. All right, remember, life's an adventure and love is a key. And love is a who. And love loves you. That's what I believe. Big axe out.
Are you thinking about something? What are you thinking about? Oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go have, uh, we don't really have oatmeal for breakfast typically. Um, we got to have some protein, so we're going to go back, hike back to the house and uh, get us some protein too. Nathan, text out. Thank you.